Well, I'm Be The Amazing Greek. Thanks for watching this second part of the video. Uh, we, in the last video, we got up to the point where the radiator's out. Now we're getting ready to take off the power steering pump. Uh, to do that, first we've got to remove the belt that goes to the power steering pump and the uh, air conditioner. So, let me show you how to do that. So here's our power steering pump. Here's the belt we need to remove. Now, this is on a tension arm right here. See where I'm putting my wrench? That right there, 17 millimeter wrench. And you pull on it and that releases the tension and then you can slip the belt off the pulley when you pull it. And then just release it. It'll go uh, all the way back and it'll go further back than where you started and uh, just let it go don't don't release it just let go though because it will snap so I'm gonna pull that belt off also I didn't say yesterday uh, after you take the tire off you're gonna have to remove the plastic well uh, insert that uh, keeps you know water and stuff from splashing up in the engine you will have to take that out it just uses those ribbed push plastic uh, holders that we were taking out yesterday on some of those, uh, sorry, on some of those sensor mounts on the uh, primary control module had those kind. The work we're getting ready to do from here on out is going to require us to move the engine up and down. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a floor jack. I didn't forget about the power steering. It's just uh, as I was getting ready to remove the three bolts which are 13 millimeter. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I realize the bottom one is much easier to take out once you can jack the engine up a little bit. So that's that's what we're doing. Floor jack. Okay. Now we're going to put this under the oil pan. So we want to put a piece of wood on top because that oil pan, we don't want the ridges, you know, this all the weight of the engine resting on these little points. We want to distribute the weight so we don't punch through. See? this is the wood I used last time saying it it indents pretty good so you don't want to do that to your oil pan so they put I feel actually like a puzzle all right so there's the oil pan right there we're gonna scoot our wood there's a flat spot here Let me show you this see on the oil pan here it comes up at an angle over here the same way right here it's kind of flat so I'm gonna center my jack there Let me make sure my valve here is closed all right I'm just gonna jack it up by hand till I get where I need to be and I want to center it up as best I can the the woods big but uh, I still want my center line of my jack to be on that flat part so that it's sitting there nice and level. All right, a little bit. Okay. That wood's kind of cocked a little bit. I don't like that. Looks like we need to come over. Ah, it's cocking a little bit, I think, because the, the drain plug over there. So let me turn this sideways a little bit my piece of wood may be too big here there we go all right so i'm gonna jack it up a little bit just to put there now i didn't jack it up much uh or actually any i just support the weight of the engine because the next thing we're gonna do is remove this i'll i'll get the name here in a minute and the one underneath right here, I think it's a support strut, but I'll, I'll get the name out of the book and uh, we'll take that off. Let me get the tools together. Okay, 18 millimeter, 18 millimeter. This helps uh, hold the engine in place and stuff so it don't shake. I couldn't find the name in the book, but it has to come off regardless of what it's called. Use you a uh, box end wrench if you can to break them loose. Don't put all that stress on your your ratchet there we go and then remember it's always not always unless it says otherwise 
Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Go to the left to loosen it, right to make it tight. Alright, I'll continue on with the ratchet and we'll pull that out. Alright, now we're going to take off this one. It's 18 millimeters also. We don't have to disassemble the back side uh, over there. We don't have to take it off. We just need this release so that we can move the engine up and down and get to the, the next set of components. Let me use my safety glasses because I'm using an impact wrench here. Um, 18 millimeters also this one. Let's see which way is forward and backward. That's backwards, okay. Yeah. That rubber's in the way, I just want to show. The next thing to be able to move the engine behind this plug right here we're still in the well here see they got a torx right there star drive some people might call it uh t55 torx that's the size right there a little tight so I'm gonna lower the engine just a hair to where it feels right because I did put pressure up on it and then I'll remove it the rest of the way the Torx bolt I just showed you right there that we're taking out this section here that's where it attaches to this arm the bracket that holds our power steering pump and our uh, our tension arm that's what it attaches to and that's why we're removing it so that the engine can move up and down. <laughs> 